Hi, and welcome to Steam Powered Family. Today we've got a really fun project doing pendulum painting. This project is going to involve art, science, specifically physics, and engineering. And here you can see our pendulum painting in progress. So this is what we're going to be doing today. We're gonna to gather up some very simple supplies. This is really easy to do. You're gonna to want to grab your cup and we're going to trace out the cup on the paper so we get the circle and then we're going to measure to find the distance. Put a line right through it and then make sure you mark that center point and then we're going to use a compass from our geometry set so we're going to be using a little math here to find the three points that are equal distance from each other. We're going to make a small little mark with our marker on all three points. Make sure you get the right three so that they're same distance apart. And then we're just gonna use a skewer. You can use another tool, a little nail, anything like that, just to make a little hole there at the top of the cup. And then we're gonna repeat that. You're gonna want one cup for each color that you want to use in your pendulum. Next, we're gonna make a hole in the bottom of our cup. You wanna do this right in the center and you wanna do the hole from the inside. This is so you don't have any rough edges and your paint comes out cleanly. So this is our setup for our pendulum you're going to want to use stools or whatever you have available um, to set a bar across and then tape the bar in place so it doesn't move. The most important thing here is you want about 10 centimeters from the bottom of your cup to the paper. So adjust any measurements that we do to ensure that you keep about that distance of 10 centimeters. The height of your stools or anything like that will change your measurements for this, but just focus on that 10 centimeters. For us, this means that we want our strings for hanging our cups to be about 27 centimeters. So we've made a 27, 27 centimeter long line on a piece of paper here, and we're just gonna tie a paper clip to one end of our string. And then we're going to make it a little longer than our 27 centimeters so that we've got room to tie the other end to another paper clip. So we're just gonna loop our paper clip on there and then we're going to get our measurement to make sure that we're accurate. Now you could also just do this with a ruler if that's easier for you. Sometimes in a classroom, it can be easier just to use a ruler, but you can also just use a piece of paper like we've done here. So we want 27 centimeters from one paper clip to the other. And then we're just gonna tie that off as well. Make sure those paper clips are secured. This is how we're going to attach the cup that's going to be holding our paint to our fixed point on the bar. So there we go. Now we're going to do three of those. So that's going to attach to the three different anchor points that we made on our cups earlier. And you can just pop open your paper clip there and slide it onto your cup. And it's really important that you try and keep everything measured as close to perfect as possible. You want everything to be nice and balanced. This will ensure your pendulum works the best. So there we go, we've got that part done. Now we're gonna make the weight. So the bob of a pendulum, which is the bottom part of the pendulum, works best if it's got some weight to it. So we're using some washers and elastics. This allows us to put the weight around the outside of the cup and transfer it from cup to cup. You could make multiple weights and put one on each cup for each color that you've got, or you can do like we did and make one weight and use it across every cup and just transfer it each time you change colors. To finish off our loop, we're just cutting one of the elastics in half and tying it around. You may need to adjust the size of this. You want it to fit nice and securely while still being easy to get on and off. You just don't want it to slide off while your pendulum is in motion. So you wanna make sure that it is fairly snug on your cups. So there we go, there's all finished. Now we'll show you how it just slides onto the cup. And then in this case, it's super easy to transfer it from cup to cup as we change colors. So there we go. Now here's our bar, and we're just gonna tie a loop of string on our bar. Again, you can adjust this measurement to ensure you get that 10 centimeters from the bottom of your cup to your paper. Again, 10 centimeters is about four inches and you can adjust this as needed. And now we're just going to take the other paper clips, so our cup is attached to the bottom of these paper clips to those strings, and we're going to attach that onto our fixed point. You wanna be very careful that your strings don't get tangled here. That can be a bit of a challenge sometimes. 
So there we go, there's our measurement. So we've got our four inches, about 10 centimeters from our paper. And we're gonna test, you wanna have your kids test this so they can see the different ways that it moves depending on how they release it, how they put force to the cup, right? If you give it a little push certain directions, it'll change the patterns. And it's best to test this before you put your paint into the cups so that you don't ruin any artwork. So there we go, we are all set up. We've pre-mixed our colors. Your ratio is uh, one to one, water to paint. You wanna dilute it so that it'll flow nice and easily out of the cup. But you can adjust these ratios as each paint is a little bit different and you want just nice consistency so you get a nice flow of paint. Now you're gonna want a slightly larger cup. This is gonna go on the outside when you're done with a color so that it doesn't continue to pour out of the cup while you're changing it and ruin your art. So here's our mixed red. We're going to put that in our cup. Make sure you put your finger over the hole in the bottom, pour a little bit of paint in there, and then we're going to let go and watch our designs take shape. And there we go, there's our pendulum painting. Now, as you can see, this could be a very messy activity. We did ours indoors. However, definitely recommend with kids that it might be easier to do this outside. When you're switching your cups, we've done ours here so that you can kind of see on camera what we're doing. It may be easier to do it uh, off camera to make sure that uh, you don't accidentally damage your new paint designs that you've just put on the paper. So we've transferred our weight onto a new cup. Make sure those strings don't get tangled as you transfer over. Another tip would be that you could make uh, strings for each color cup so you don't need to transfer the strings each time. And then you could just swap out your loops, your fixed points. So here we go, fingers on the bottom of the cup, and then we're gonna do it with some green now. And you can see we've released it in a different way and it, the patterns came out differently this time. And now we're gonna try some blue. So we did switch colors here, we just did it off camera. And now we did the same, we switched cups again, and now we're going to put some yellow in our design. You can use whatever colors you want, you can do as many layers as you want. This is a fantastic way to bring some art to your STEM lessons learn a little bit about physics, as well as engineering, a bit of math, and of course, making beautiful art. If you wanna learn more about the science behind this activity and more detailed step-by-step -step directions, please visit steampoweredfamily.com where you'll find this and many more STEM activities. Have a great day, bye for now.